हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैट ऑफ एरिया नाउ वेन द टीचर्स इंट्रोड्यूस दिस टॉपिक टू ए टेन ईयर ओल्ड स्टूडेंट हु इज स्टडिंग इन क्लास फाइव ए लॉट डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट काइंड ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन इज गिवन कंसर्निंग दिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक If the students are made to cram the formula for finding the area of a rectangle, the area of a square, then throughout their lives they will be dependent on these formulas for finding the area. And rather than having an in-depth understanding of the concept of area, they will be dependent on the formula. for finding the area of a rectangle which is length into breadth and they will be cramming up these formulas everywhere they go everywhere they confront the topic of area and the topic of volume in subsequent classes so my appeal to the teachers is that when they introduce this topic to the students then they have to introduce it in such a way that the child feels comfortable with the statement problems concerning areas when they deal with this topic in higher classes like class 8th 9th and class 10th that is uh, the stage when the understanding of concepts is used the child moves from concrete con- concepts to the abstract concepts when they have to visualize when they have to imagine the shapes in their minds and then come up with a solution of the problem so in order to have those higher thinking skills implemented and inculcated in the students they need to introduce the topic of area very well now just to introduce this let me tell you that when we ask a child to measure the length of say a pen or a pencil or a marker then if the child says that the length of this line or length of any object is 10 cm then obviously the child is very clear what does 1 cm mean the meaning of 1 cm how much is 1 cm we tell the students what is 1 cm only then we tell him or her to measure the length of an object length of any pen pencil or any object which can be measured in the classroom unless and until a child is clear about the concept of 1 cm he cannot tell you that a particular object measures 5 cm or 8 cm or 8.5 cm or 10.5 cm how will he know the meaning of 10.5 cm if he doesn't know 1 cm similar case is there when we introduce the concept of area among the students now the teachers make a very big mistake of introducing the formula of rectangle area of rectangle and area of square to the students by telling them that area of rectangle is length into breadth if you are given length as 5 and breadth as 3 then just multiply them you will get 15 and after this Uh, length 5 and breadth 3 the area is length into breadth so 5 into 3 and whatever answer you get you put this unit squared now this is the way we are teaching areas in the classroom we are not introducing the topic in a proper manner the child is will always be dependent on this formula for finding the area of a rectangle and i speak by my experience i have confronted 80% of the students who are unclear about the concept of area if you ask them what is the area of a rectangle of length 5 and breadth 3 they will tell you it is 15 square cm then if you ask them what do you mean by a rectangle having a area 15 what is 1 square cm then they will not be able to apply the concept of area in practical problems in statement problems and that is where they get confused so the correct way of introducing the concept of area to students is to tell them the meaning of 
one square centimeter. What is one square centimeter? So you have to tell them that one square centimeter is obtained by multiplying one centimeter and one centimeter. So one into one multiplied by centimeter into centimeter. One into one is one, and centimeter into centimeter is centimeter square. This is how you introduce the concept of one square centimeter, and then tell them what is what exactly geometrically one square centimeter represents. So then draw a square, and tell them a square which is having both means all sides as one centimeter each will have. Will cover a space which which is equal to one square centimeter. Show them the graph sheet, centimeter graph sheet. You can darken one of the squares of the graph sheet and show them that these all dark squares are actually covering a space which is equal to one square centimeter. Now this space is called one square centimeter. Once they know. That this is the amount of space covered by a square of side one centimeter, which is called one square centimeter. They will be able to measure ten square centimeter, fifteen square centimeter, twenty square centimeter, and so on. Now, just to make this concept more clear, I have drawn some figures here. See, if the teacher draws this kind of figures on board in the class and then dictates the concept of area to them it will be very much clear in the minds of students that what exactly area is now see if you have told them that this is 1 square centimeter space and you have placed this much space in this rectangle then they will not be dependent on formula now they will be just counting the number of square centimeters that have been placed in this figure so they will just count 4 5 6 7 8 and they will tell that the area of this figure is actually 8 square centimeters 1 square centimeter multiplied by 8 so this is how you introduce a topic and then you can arrive at the formula that since there were four can centimeters 4 centimeters on the length and 2 on the breadth so and you calculated the area to be 8 now the formula is length into breadth do not tell the formula first tell them how you arrive at the formula if you tell them how you arrive at the formula students are likely to retain the concept of area for a longer period of time in their minds and they are more likely to apply that concept of area in subsequent classes because without understanding knowledge is fake and temporary now the same concept when applied to here any student will tell you that the area of this rectangle is 15 irrespective of the fact that he or she doesn't know the formula for finding the area or not he will just count how many square centimeters are along the length 5 and how many along the breadth 3 and he will tell you that 5 5 5 is 15 so area is 15 square centimeters so if he you knows the concept of 1 square centimeter then he can measure any area simultaneously when it comes to the square they you don't need to tell them that area of rectangle and area of square has two different formulas ultimately area of rectangle formula for area of rectangle can be used to find the area of a square also it is length into breadth only only thing is that length and breadth are equal so if length and breadth are equal also then we can apply the formula of area of rectangle to find the area of a square so just count here also 5 along the Length and five along the breadth, so five, 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 five gives you five into five, twenty-five square centimeters. That is one square centimeter is this much space, and how many square centimeters are there? Twenty-five. So you arrive at the ultimately area is twenty-five square centimeters. So this is the kind of methodology we must use 
at the junior level in class 4 class 5 class 6 when we teach students the concept of area only then they will be able to solve pro problems which are uh, appearing in higher class uh, mensuration problems like finding the cost of leveling a field find finding the cost of tiling a floor finding the cost of white washing a wall and so on those are the problems in which the students get stuck up when they are not clear about the basic concepts of area and its unit so my appeal to teachers kindly introduce the topic in such a manner so that the students retain the concept for a lifetime keep enjoying keep learning and share and subscribe the video if you like it